Hello guys, uh, today in this video I'll explain how you could connect from uh, your uh, local Python environment to Oracle Cloud Database uh, and I'm using always three instance uh, which uh, is great for development. I think it obviously comes with the limitations but for development is, uh, is enough, it's awesome. So let's, uh, let's actually see how you can connect from Python environment to that instance and uh, do development. Let's switch to my screen. And first of all, I would uh, recommend to follow and go through the uh, blog uh, of uh, Christopher Jones from Oracle. He explains uh, very clear and very well uh, how you can connect from different scripting environments to Oracle Cloud uh, database instances. Uh, you should not be scared that you would need to use some legacy Oracle uh, clients or tools and uh, connection would be very complex. It's actually simple. Uh, you could use so-called um, uh, Easy Connect Plus syntax, uh, which is a string, and you could use this string uh, with certain details for uh, for the connect function, and uh, you could connect through. So uh, first of all, you would use this Easy Connect Plus syntax string for the connection. But in order to connect, you still need to install uh, Oracle client. Uh, but uh, the installation is is very basic. Uh, it just uh, uh, you need to download it, extract, and uh, that's all basically. And uh, during connect, uh, when you will be connecting for the connect function, you would need to specify the path where that client is located. So nothing else, uh, very straightforward. And the third thing, uh, in order to execute SQL query uh, uh, and um, execute any SQL logic, we should go to a database. You need to install a CX underscore Oracle model in your Python environment. This is um, uh, Kind of easy as well and uh, should be, should work without any issues. So let's see uh, for the Easy Connect Plus syntax uh, as explained here. Uh, you could uh, uh, construct this kind of a string uh, with some of different parameters and, and then you could use it uh, in your Python script uh, and you can pass it to CX underscore Oracle Connect uh, function. This, this thing. In order to get all the details that you will specify for the connect string, you need to have security wallet and you can download that wallet from uh, Oracle Cloud instance, uh, your Oracle database cloud instance. Uh, from there, you can download the wallet. And this wallet is acts like a security gateway. It, it, it uh, contains all the security information and all the connect information. And from, the, from there, you can extract this uh, a wallet and get TNS names or dot, dot or a file. From there, you can copy all the details that you need for the connection. And just follow along that blog post, and uh, it's very well uh, explained. So I think you'll not be lost. Uh, I highly recommend it. Okay, so that's uh, for the connect string. And next, uh, we need um, client. Uh, so I'm running macOS platform, and for macOS, I went to Oracle uh, site and by the way, this link in the blog post as well, um, somewhere you know, over here, uh, there's a pointer to uh, to the page for Oracle Instant Client. So you can go there and download it. And uh, as I mentioned, I'm using macOS. I downloaded a um, basic package, a DMG file, and then I extracted that package and uh, just was able to use it. There's another guide uh, which explains how to install a client on macOS. And uh, over there, it explains how to install CX Oracle uh, library on macOS for Python. But in this, under the same section, there's another one which says install Oracle instant client. And you see just a few steps. You download it and extract, uh, and basically you, you're good to go. You can move this uh, fold, extracted folder anywhere you would like to, and then just you need to po uh, point to the folder from uh, from your script. So as soon as uh, instant client is installed, you uh, need to install CX underscore Oracle library um, or package, right? And you just install it through through pip, and uh, yeah, it should work without issues. At least for me, uh, it was uh, straightforward. There was no any issues installing it. Let's switch to uh, actual script and let's see how it works in my case. So uh, I prepared this basic function which uh, executes uh, a call to database, executes the query, gets the results and uh, translates results into the dic dictionary structure. 
So the first of all, uh, in order for CX Oracle to work, I need uh, to point to uh, Oracle client. So I include a location, folder location where Oracle client was being uh, stored. And with that is able to uh, communicate to Oracle instance. Next, I'm uh, constructing connect string. Um, and this is uh, based on uh, instructions provided in the blocks I mentioned before. Uh, here I need to pass uh, host name of the cloud instance port, uh, service name, and then uh, wallet location. It points to the uh, local uh, folder environment to where um, the wallet was extracted. So to the uh, root folder of the of the wallet. Then I do connect. And the next is all actually straightforward. I execute the query, pass bind variable, and then results are being processed into dictionary structure. Dictionary structure is uh, convenient, I think, because it's easier to convert it to uh, Pandas data frame. Okay, there's uh, oh, okay, there's error. Okay, that's fine because, because there was some funny uh, funny character was there. Accidentally, probably I type it. Let's run it again, and now it's, it works well. So you get invoice date, invoice number, and total. And this script is uploaded to my GitHub repository, and you could get the URL to that below the video. So thanks for watching, and I plan to post uh, maybe two more uh, videos in future about this topic. In the next video, I'll, I'll talk about how you could uh, wrap uh, Python uh, scripts uh, with Flask into a REST interface. So how you could expose uh, REST data over the data that you fetch from uh, Oracle database in Python. And the third one uh, would be, video would be about how you could dockerize this uh, Python script and uh, wrap it with Docker container, which you could uh, post to uh, cloud environment as well and uh, have it accessible from anywhere from the outside. So thanks, guys, uh, and see you next time. Bye.